Right. It's true. And this is a big weekend. People have plans and uh, even any weekend. It's kind of a shame sometimes yeah. to get the yeah. big rain, even if it were just a regular system. And then, of course, we have a little bit of extra things to talk about because this could be a tropical system, maybe a depression or a tropical storm, Claudette. And that could happen by Friday. It looks like maybe Thursday night and Friday might be the time for it to organize and develop. So it's only Tuesday night. We have two more full days pretty much before this is really going to be organizing. However, during the day Thursday, it will probably begin to move off to the north. No impacts are expected really for the Gulf Coast until Friday. So again, a couple more days that we have a really just intense heat, very June like sort of typical summer weather here and in fact, lower rain chances tomorrow and into Thursday before our rain chances increase Friday. You saw the 50% chance of development in two days. 80% chance in five days We're thinking this is probably going to develop, but it just is not there yet. In fact, here is the low pressure kind of center, but it's so broad. It's kind of just difficult to even detect. If you look at the thunderstorms, they're all over land right now with those highest cloud tops showing up in the dark reds and grays. So very slow to develop. This has been officially called invest 92. That's that new term that we use in the past several years for something that hasn't developed. It's just a dis disturbance, but it's an area being investigated. It starts to move north Thursday. The biggest threat for our area, still what we've been thinking for the past couple of days, even if it develops, we're still looking at mainly a heavy rain threat Friday through Sunday. There could also be some coastal flooding issues and maybe some breezy winds too. We'll have to iron those details out once the system develops. Here, by the way, though, is our available moisture map and notice the reds and oranges are a lot of deep tropical moisture. The blues are way less moisture, much drier air. So through Thursday, we're still mainly dry, just more of that heat and humidity. But notice what happens here, by the way, you can see the spin with our wind particles here. As we move into the daytime hours on Friday and Saturday, even if the center tracks a little to the west, that's what the models are showing right now. That could change a little bit as we get into the period where we actually have the system developed. But it does look like the heavy rain threat would start Friday. And here's just a lot of deep tropical moisture. So again, even if it's messy, we're still looking at the rain potential lasting into Saturday and into Sunday. Here are the steering patterns, big high, super uh, hot weather expected out to the west, including us tomorrow. Our highs may be again in the middle 90s, like today we hit 95. Here's another high kind of building in as this high retreats a bit. And this is our model showing toward this weekend. So that's why we're expecting this to eventually get drawn to the north with that heavy rain threat. So our latest map from the Weather Prediction Center for how much rain the models have kind of been shifting a little bit, but looks like several inches, maybe five to seven or so, and maybe some higher totals for other spots. But it does look like that will be just to the east of the center. So again, just kind of tentatively saying if the center looks like it might get drawn a little to the west, that would place us with the heavy rain threat. So what to do right now, I would say, first of all, just kind of make sure that uh, you're prepared in case of heavy rain. Keep in mind it might begin on Friday, maybe second part of the day, maybe into Saturday, but Friday I think would be the earliest. Keep checking our forecasts, download our WWL TV app. That way you have it on your phone ready to go anytime over the weekend that you feel like seeing the latest models or want to see exactly what the newest forecast is. You can check that on your app. And again, just kind of be prepared, maybe storm drain you know, should be cleaned and so forth um, and just be ready for some heavy rain, maybe beginning Friday through Sunday. Post tropical bill is out here. It was brief. It lasted barely a day, but it was bill the B storm, the second named storm of the season. So that's why Claudette might be what eventually forms in the Gulf. We're now looking at temperatures near 80 and you may see a lot of lightning outside. That's coming from a couple of little storms, one right over Lake Pontchartrain. These probably will not be severe. The severe threat is most mostly ended tonight, but notice that it might continue tracking that way. Tonight we'll keep our rain chance there for the next couple of hours. Lows in the 70s. Tomorrow we'll say about 94 feels like 100 to 105 and our rain chance pretty slim, just about 20% tomorrow, but an isolated storm is possible. Even a lower chance, a slimmer chance for a storm on Thursday. And then again, we're watching the weekend very closely and we'll have many more updates coming for you. The LSU baseball coaching search has narrowed.